Yes. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Awesome. I'm so sorry I'm late. Uh, I do apologize for that. Oh, it's okay. Coven, <laughs> Coven was here. We were talking and chatting it up. Joanna. So. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> Yes, yes. I'm, I'm trying to get her on maybe for next month. We're going to see what we can try to do. You got to summon the Supreme. That's my Supreme Joanna coming to Screams. I love her so much. What are you doing, Joanna? I love you. <laughs> and she was telling me, no, he's going to be here. He'll be here. He'll be here. I'm like, I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> well, she knows it's not your Hellmaster if I'm not fashionably late. I'm going to be late to my own funeral. I don't even think I'm going to make my own funeral. So. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Well, it's a pleasure to uh, see you, meet you. <laughs> awesome. um, it's so great to be here. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, feel free to introduce yourself. Okay, awesome. So I am your Hellmaster Dede. I run the Hellzone TV over on Instagram and the Hellington YouTube channel where we do horror all day, every day, 24-7, 365. And we're just a big ass... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so used to, like, cussing. Oh, no, you can. We're just a... No, okay. you can. We're such a big ass community of just horror lovers who love everything Ooh. horror. Uh, and we're starting to branch off into a uh, little more aspects in, in pop culture, like you guys do uh, with superhero stuff and Marvel and all these other cool things. So uh, we're just an entertainment channel. And we just love talking your favorite horror movies, your favorite content. And uh, yeah, just a little bit about me. Oh, love it. Love it. Well, you, you know, I think it's the perfect joining of horror and superhero. Blade 2. Okay? Ooh, Blade 2. See, perfect. Blade 2, that's, that's a fire one. That's a fire mm -hmm. one. And after seeing Deadpool and Wolverine, it has me itching or clawing, if you will, for a new Blade movie. I'm not going to lie. Yes. I mean, he came oh. out. Oh, yo, screaming. Oh, screaming. Dude. Dude, I was going insane. My wife was in the theater. She was like, oh, my God, it's Blade. It's Leslie Stein. I was like, yes. I love that they, I love that they kept that, the, 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 the cameos a, a secret as best they could. Like, yeah. I loved it. I was, everyone, I was like, oh, oh, oh. it was so it was great. So good. <laughs> um, it was so good. I was surprised from the very, like, I was like, because when you, just when you thought it was over, mm -hmm. there was another cameo. Yes. And then another, I'm like, dude, there's yes. so many freaking yes. cameos. But I was so excited. I loved that for Wolverine. Oh, same. Same, same, same. All right. So, um, my name is Lisa, and I, I am in charge of uh, Real Movie Lovers and NXT Global Productions, which is my production company. I'm a writer, director, and a producer as well. Yes. Um, so that's why, I, like, I tend to talk more movies on the Real Movie Lovers side, but when it comes to like doing this, it's like NXT Global Productions all the way. Um, yes. as well my YouTube channel NXT Global Productions, where we talk movies and all that kind of, and and tech and all kind of fun stuff so yes I, I did a quick browse over your your content your social media and like i was just so impressed on like everything that you do like you have you know you have of course your instagram reels of your content as far as movie reviews and but you dive into pop culture you dive into uh act, actual like acting techniques and stuff like that it's so always like this I, I think I'm a little like underprepared here. I'm not gonna lie. Like, oh, no. You're the professional. I'm the amateur over here. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, I appreciate that. Very no, with what you do. This is free. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. No, this this is this is easy breezy. We don't we don't we were talking Beetlejuice Beetlejuice guys, and we are talking spoilers. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So just give them up front with that. You cannot blame me. Um, <laughs> bring the tables. It's my partner to get in here. <laughs> there is, I'm telling you, when you summon me, you summoned all of the hell zone. Like, oh, we're, right. we're coming in full force. <laughs> we're trying to get the family in here. All right. All right. Perfect. Perfect. So I, um, I was going to say, uh, since I was a kid, I have loved horror movies. That, that was my first love, my first genre that I loved was horror Ooh. movies. Okay. Yeah, I've been watching horror movies since I was six. Probably shouldn't have. Probably shouldn't have. But since I was six. So you was you was sneaking out and, and watching horror, were you? <laughs> no, 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 honestly, right in front of my parents' face, really. Like, it, cause like, oh, you had some you cool know, parents. That's dope. <laughs> it was like child's play. Like, I, I also feel like horror movies 
Then the horror movies now, like, you know, they go through different stages, you know, you know, your slashers, this and that. So the stuff that's out there now, my parents probably wouldn't be like, no, you have to wait till you're older. Right. But yeah, you know what I mean? So Chucky was my, like, my boom coon for a long time. That's my dog, right? Oh, I got my Chucky shirt on. <laughs> oh! Nah. Okay, I'm jealous. I want Chucky shirt. I want Doc. I want a Chucky shirt. I'm so jealous. I love it. I love it. Love the harmony we set up. Yes, I agree. What What's good? I love your setup. Your background's amazing. Oh, thank you so much. This is half of it is mine. Half of it is my beautiful wife, Hell Queen Jazzy. Uh, but yeah, this is horror is what we do. So now that you're speaking of horror, now that we're talking and we've kind of gotten the ice broken a little bit. Yes. So is child's play like is that like your favorite Chucky movie or what is your favorite Chucky movie uh ooh. okay so <clears throat> I think sorry <clears throat> I think Child's Play 2 might be the scariest one for me and my ooh. the one that I enjoy watching the most Bride of Chucky Bride of Chucky that is my <laughs> wife's favorite freaking movie like she is in love with Jennifer Tilly like she loves Jennifer Tilly. She loves Tiffany. Like, oh, uh, that is a that's a really good one. That's a really good one. Yeah, I I love, love that one. I love that one. <laughs> we the can't have that. getting wild tonight. I, like, they, they I, get a little crazy. Love I love it. Hey, listen. If any of you guys want to come on and be on on the show, just hit me up in the DMs and we'll set it up too. All right, so let's dive into Beetlejuice. 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 Okay, now. I don't know. If, I think you've had a chance to, to to watch my hot take on it. Oh yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now, now here's what's funny. Hot take Tuesday. It's more of a gimmick. So sometimes it's not a hot take. Sometimes it's something we all agree on. Sometimes it's not. Right. So right. Depending on where you, but I feel like maybe people are more split. But I, I liked the film the first time I watched it. I was like, oh, I'm having so much fun. I love this. The second time I watched it. For uh, you know, for our for our conversation, I was like, "Huh, okay." I had more like I was I was I was had more time to think. I knew it was coming, so I was just I'm just sitting. I'm like, "What about this and this?" But did we need this? And and, and just started it started it started messing it up for me. And I was like, "Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah, no, that 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 usually happens when you're a content creator. You can't really just watch the movie for what it is. You start like questioning, like, "Okay, did we really need this?" But after watching your hot take, you did make some very valid points. I'm not going to lie. Even some points that, even being as a, a horror content creator, I didn't hear a lot of people making the points that you made. And I sat there and thought about it. I was like, she has a good point. Like, one of the points that was a good point was, uh, and spoiler alert, if you haven't watched the, the hot take Tuesday, <laughs> uh, go watch it right now. It's over on the page right now. So go watch it. And then come back to the live stream. Yes. We'll talk about Real movie it. Real movie R E L. R-E-L. Yes, R-E-L. <laughs> Somebody, a couple of screens, do me a favor, drop the at in the chat right now. And see, that's why I love Joanna. She's my favorite. Uh, drop her, drop the at right now in the chat so you guys can go over there, watch the Hot Take Tuesday video. But one of the points that you did make in it that I, that I found really valid, and I don't know if this one was a gimmick or if this one was, was real, but I did like that. It made me question. You said, how come some people in the underworld have superpowers and others don't? And that was a very valid point because obviously the juice, right? The 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 juice is loose. He has ample of of of, of superpowers, but then you have a lot of people who are in the the waiting zone who don't have any superpowers. So what you know? So there was a lot of stuff that watching it the second time, you mm -hmm. start picking up on the little inconsistencies. Yeah, yeah. like I I think we, so they got away with it in the first Beetlejuice because. We didn't all the way know who Beetlejuice was. He seemed dead, but like different, like something more to him, you know? Right. And he was the only one of his kind like that. So it, it got, we, we were able to get away from that. Like, okay, cool. We, we took it out as it was. But then here in the sequel, not only do you give us his backstory, which I wish you hadn't done that because I like the mystery. Sometimes I don't need to know everything about my, my, my villain or, or character. Um, I feel like it ruined it. Yeah. Um, and then you bring on his uh, his ex wife, who I get that she has a soul sucking cult, right? So where are the other cult members? Are they also soul suckers? Right. Right. And, and that, and I think 
it's a bad, and you also just brought up another valid point. It sometimes stuff doesn't need to see you, right? Mm-hmm. And I think that yeah. this started this trend of bringing back sequels started with Hocus Pocus, right? Mm-hmm. Hocus Pocus mm-hmm. was the first quote unquote Disney film, uh, child, child, childlike film that got a sequel that didn't yeah. necessarily need a sequel. And then, you know, the iconic Tim Burton, after working on Wednesday, the, the Netflix series was like, okay, let's bring together Beetlejuice too, right? Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And I think for nostalgia purpose, I think it hit on point, right? That blast we got when we were in the theaters, mm-hmm. you know, that dopamine hit, we got it. But then when you sit back and you're like, man, this isn't that really great of a sequel. Like, it's, it's, it's solid, right? It's, mm-hmm. it, it's a good, solid sequel. But... Did we really need it? And was it kind of rushed? Because, like, even even the story between Astrid, which is uh, the character that uh, Jen Ortega plays, mm-hmm. and the, the boyfriend, right? Mm-hmm. That kind of didn't make sense all the way either, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, so, um, oh, hold on. I want to highlight a comment. So, Cody says, Monica Bellucci should have made a, would have made a grip, grip Morticia on Wednesday. No shade to Catherine Zeta-Jones, but come on. I I am inclined to agree. Yeah. I'm inclined to agree. Now, my Morticia will always be Angelica Houston, but I welcome. I welcome contenders as well. And, uh, yeah, I think, I mean, she definitely would have brought more of a sexiness to the role. Like, Catherine Zeta is already sexy. But the sex appeal, I think, because of who uh, Bellucci, you know, who she is as a character and her work, people were automatically looking for that. So maybe they didn't want that to take the sole purpose, like the sole focus of the story so i kind of get why you know they went with Catherine zeta jones which i also liked right. i liked Catherine. i after seeing this i was like oh yeah she would have made a good morticia too so yeah. um but the we're at we're, we're, we're again with, with Beatles, Beatles shoes. um again oh so some i think coven said no hocus pocus slander okay i don't have sl- i love hocus pocus oh my gosh i love hocus pocus um the sequel i'm like okay we decided to give them more of a of an arc kind of like okay they're not fully evil they they don't have to eat children they can give it up because she's really by her sisters and i was like okay you give me backstory sometimes backstories on a villain are good and sometimes they're not yeah and but if it's hot take Tuesday, to... we're ready for it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but before okay, so this is this is a different, different, different type of villain. But before before Joker two came out, I would have said Joker was a good like back story of a villain. But then they're like they did this. I'm like, oh, okay, got, got it. Not yeah. really fair. Got it. Got it. You you hit the nail. You hit the uh, nail on the head there. Like. Even even me and we're talking Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, and we're talking again. If, if if you're just now joining the stream, we're talking everything, right? If, yes. If, if if Beetlejuice, if we're being completely honest, right? You and this is why I love your content because you keep it real. It's hot take fucking Tuesday, right? <laughs> if we're being completely honest, right? Yes. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice's backstory. I mean, the backstory they gave Michael Keaton, aka the Juice. Mm-hmm. It didn't really make sense. It no. didn't really make sense. Like, it was like, okay, yeah, okay, you have a dead wife, but why do you want to marry Lydia all of a sudden again? Why wasn't this, you know, like, they took one small detail from the first movie with when Beetlejuice got the ring off for Lydia. He got it off of a dead finger. They took that small detail and built a whole character and made it part, like, and something else that threw me off during the movie. Why did we have a two, three minute scene where Beetlejuice was speaking Spanish? Like, that just didn't make sense to me. When, they, when he was telling the backstory to, to, uh, to his wife and how they first met, it was all in Spanish. And I'm like, when has this ever been Beetlejuice? Like, this, is, this just seems like it's kind of like, this isn't Beetlejuice's backstory. This is Lydia's finishing story, but also with his wife's backstory. It kind of felt like. So I, I, so here's the thing. I feel like 
speaking in Spanish is something that Beetlejuice would do, but would he do it for an entire scene of telling you a story? No, I think he'd do it for a gag. For you know what I'm saying? Right. Like that. That so that was like okay. And if they don't even explain how he got his powers, why he has powers, how she got power, because she has powers. Um, th there's nothing in her backstory that would tell you. Oh snap! They were warlocks and witches before, so that's why they're able to do that. And it it I was like, sometimes less is more. Ooh, perfect. Yeah, less is more. <laughs> you have to give me everything. You don't, and 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 that, and just like you said with the Joker, right? That's the biggest thing right now. It's like we've had so we, we the DC universe with the 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 2022 Batman movie. It was it was good, and it's like then they give us the Joker, and it's like why? <laughs> like it's like why? Like what is happening here? Yeah, yeah. No, you're you're right. Um, I mean, let's see. Uh, you guys are oh, you guys are lighting up the comments Wait, section. Oh, okay. so they don't. The Hellions do not stop in the comments. Like I'll be trying to do a live stream. I'll be trying to focus, and I'll be like, "Yo, you guys are going crazy in the comments right now." I, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to get to what I can, guys. I, I love that you're having these conversations. Continue. Um, let me see some, one one thing that they said that I was looking at. My problem with Hocus Pocus two. Uh, where did Juice? Okay, so they're talking about where did all the shrunken heads come from, and Coven was like, uh, from all of us that were call centers before we died. <laughs> <laughs> all the bombs. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, I, I agree. I agree. So, um, what, what did you? How did you feel about how they handled Charles Deets? So I'm the well. The, the, that's a loaded question. You set me up there. <laughs> I like how you did it. Okay. Gotcha. Got uh, so, you know, I, as, a, as a fan of the franchise, right, mm -hmm. I, I, I don't really want to get into the political side. No, and, not. I'm right, talking about... Cause cause it, it, if you guys don't know the backstory on the guy who played Charles Deeds, go look it up. Yeah. There's always two sides to the story and, you know, whatever, right? But... The way they handled it, I felt was it was good at first, but then once they had them continue to be in the movie, right? Like yeah. it was good. It was like once you like you respectfully killed them off, right? Like you gave them an interesting. <laughs> it was, it was yeah, funny, it. right? It was like a comic book strip and like Lindy, yeah, I mean, uh, I, I love claymation. <laughs> It was it was just funny to me. Like Delia would not stop. She was like, "Oh, so he so he died in a plane crash? No, he, no, it gets worse. He so he drowned. Absolutely not. He actually got eaten by a shark. So I thought that was great, right? But when you continue to have him be a part of the movie and it kind of drag out a little bit, yeah. and that was kind of the problem I felt felt with Beetle. Just like at, at, after first watching, I was like, "Oh, they're pulling in so many storylines. It's so cool." But then I feel like the Charles storyline didn't have to be there. And you mm -hmm. still could have had the Delia storyline. Like, yeah. had Charles die the way you had him die, but then have Delia just continue her storyline. And then them meeting up at the end, it just, it felt like it didn't need to be done, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, <laughs> somebody, somebody, um, <laughs> highlighted this on on the internet and I'm I'm like I'm like kind of mad that I missed it. I was like so at Charles's funeral the fact that they had a choir of children singing <laughs> Damn. I was like, oh that is diabolical. That was insane. So it was like definitely Tim Burton definitely was probably taking shots there. And we don't know which way. He could have been taking shots at the media or it could have been at the actor that played Charles. I don't yeah. know, but I thought it was fucking hilarious. Oh my God. I laughed at it. I was like, yo, he had they have children singing? Like that is insane. <laughs> Diabolical. So like it's funny. Okay, so when you mentioned the fact that showing Charles and then continuing to show it like I agree there were a couple of running gags in this movie that I feel like they kind of do drove into the ground a little bit. Yeah. Um yeah. So and people may not agree with me but um, the first time we see the Soul Train, I was like, oh, bet. 
then we see it again. I was like, okay, I you can yeah. you can relax a little bit. And then like somebody somebody jokes that like, listen, Tim, I know people will give you flack for not having black people in your movies, but come on. <laughs> you know, that that like so that. I think I think I think the Soul Train at the time it was good, right? Yeah. But then the ending wasn't necessary yeah. in my that opinion. Like I just felt like them introducing the soul train when they're looking at the afterlife and seeing yeah. everything that's in the afterlife and then them seeing the soul train. I remember dancing with my wife in the chair, right? So but then afterwards, again, that whole I felt like the final act was just very messy. And, and yeah. especially let me ask you this, Lisa. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. how did you feel about the storyline between Lydia and her fiance and then her quote unquote dead husband. Um I was I was I <laughs> It was just Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. I need to know. All right. So first of all, I don't understand why they went out of their way to be like, oh we fell out of love so long ago. Like you're not you could you have to you have to do that, right? right. Maybe and to the, I thought that was I thought that undercut the scene where they finally reunite with him because then it's kind of like well you fell out of love with him why are you looking like you love him now like, do you know what i'm trying to say like yeah I, yeah like, like you was in love with like yeah. it was almost like they set up like yeah pretty much their drama between them so then when we finally see the guy it's like we have a certain view of like how she sees yeah. him but then it turns out to be something totally different Right. I mean, and, and, and they didn't paint him as a bad guy, but it was just like, we felt out of love a long time ago. And I was just like, you know, but, you know, before the accident, so I was just like, okay. I mean, that does happen, but for story purposes and what you're doing with the story, I don't know if that was the move. Right. Right. I don't know if that was the move, just me, because if you, you like, if you loved him and then he died and you guys were still in that love, you're. What, what's a good word your brokenness makes even yeah. more sense yeah you coming under this under this um charlotte's charlatan right you know winning makes a lot more sense like i'm not saying that like yeah if you love somebody and you fall in love with them you know you still have love for them if they die you still feel it but the level of brokenness that we're supposed to believe on a relationship that was but that have like fallen out of love before the accident was right. where i was like that undercuts it it. That doesn't make sense to it's me. Like that, that whole time you were planning to get engaged. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a double-edged sword. It's like, how are you gonna have these feelings of, oh, okay, I love you, and you know, did we have our family back together? But like just ten minutes ago, Lydia, you were trying to get engaged. You were trying to get married to this other yeah. guy before you found out he was. Yeah. Like, and, and I mean, and I, I just think that I was a running thing. Wasn't... Go ahead. Huh? Well, I, I know she wasn't 100% into getting married. Like, you know, she was, you know what I mean? But still. I feel like she was, though. That was the thing. Like, I felt like Lydia was, to a certain extent, like, mm. she didn't care if she was married or anyways. But because he wanted to be married, she was all for it. Like, I remember watching plenty of times, like, Delia was like, don't do it. Astrid was like, don't, don't do it. And Lydia was like, eh, I'll do it anyways. And so it's like, she was willing to do it, and I, I think that I feel like, and tell me if I'm wrong, Lisa, but I feel like the Beetlejuice's wife storyline didn't need to be there, and no. the movie would have still been successful. Nope. The nope. Lydia nope. husband storyline didn't necessarily need to be there, because I'm thinking the whole time, I'm like, okay, I'm looking at it, here's what I would have pictured, right? Beetlejuice coming back for Lydia to make mm -hmm. her his make her his wife, mm -hmm. and using and then you could have had that, and then Astrid could have had the storyline with the with the son, and then you didn't need you didn't necessarily need the William Defoe storyline either. No, right? So there's like three or four storylines that you didn't necessarily need, and the movie would have still been great. Yeah. So okay. So I okay. So I I'm with you. I enjoyed I enjoyed William Defoe's performance. I even enjoyed Lydia's um fiance Justin something uh his performance. They like they were they were like on their own funny, but but all together it was like it feels like a lot. I feel like it took away. There was so much here that you could that you had already. And that relationship between Astrid and Lydia, I, I like the the way that it, it in a way was mirroring Delia. And Lydia, all those years.
years ago in its own way i thought that was clever i like yeah. that i want to see i want to kind of dive more into that but you have this character pulling the story this way this character pulling the story this way and so you weren't able to kind of dive into it the way you know you wanted to no. and like astrid's astrid's anger with her mom right um for, for wanting to spend more time with ghosts than the living i wanted to dive more into that i could see that happen i could see her being upset I could see again lydia the love for her husband one of the only people who understood her because that was one of the things about her as a teenager people didn't understand her she found somebody who understood her yeah loved her and died you're broken you're lost you're detached i can i can see her pulling from her daughter unintentionally because grief does different things to people right there was so much you could have done with that yeah and I feel like that wasn't even Lydia's character. Like, if you think of Lydia, would she seems like a she don't need no man, right? So after <laughs> she lost the love of her life, then I wouldn't see her jumping into some superficial ma marriage. I just don't see that. I, 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 it, not, not, now that you look, me. Lisa, you're making me think of some stuff to that. Like, I, I came here thinking, like, okay, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna let everyone know that her hot takes. A rubbish. No, like you bring us some really. You made me like rethink this movie for sure. <laughs> I appreciate that, and I, I and listen. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm out. Didn't see the movie, but go check a four. Got it. <laughs> um. <laughs> so, I listen. I am not. I I have a love for movies. I love movies. I love the story, the storytelling, and I do like give a lot of allowances. You know, you're not really, I'm not the type of person that would, would go see Joker 2 and be like, oh my gosh, the worst movie ever. Da, da, da. Right. Are you kidding me? Not when Tank Girl exists. I would never say that stupidness. No. Okay? <laughs> Sorry. 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 Uh, Sorry. <laughs> well, I mean, the Joker 2, I think that in itself, and, and I think C Cody, I don't know if you've seen it recently, Cody. I, I can't remember if you put a review out on it because he, he's literally going to movies every week. But it's, it's like you said, like, you know, you could easily jump on the bandwagon and say, oh, this is this is terrible. Worst movie ever. But you're like, no, there's levels to this shit we call movies. And yeah. that's not the worst movie ever. No. Now, me personally, I haven't seen it yet. I did see the original. I think that the original, it was a hard watch for people who weren't fans of the Joker. Like, it wasn't what you expected, but I think it was good. I thought it was good cinema. I thought it was good storytelling. And I just think that the approach they took with just doing a musical, it just, you're almost shooting yourself in the foot there. I don't know if you've seen, have you seen uh, the Mean Girls, right? The the, the remake? It was a No, movie. no. Okay, I, so have you seen the original Mean Girls? Absolutely. Okay. That's, that's why I Classic, wanted to be right? <laughs> Yeah. It's Classic. And it's like, you, it's almost like you are starting so far away from what the original was. Now, I'm not saying that the remake isn't, isn't good. Right. It's good enough, but the music and the singing, it's like, this, is, this isn't this is what we were used to, you know? Yeah. Oh, okay. Coven loves the new one. Okay. So, okay. My bad, Coven. So here, here, here's the thing about it. Things work in different mediums yeah. better, right? Yeah. So am I, am I interested in seeing Mean Girls, the musical movie? No. Would I watch Mean Girls the musical play? Yeah. The medium matters. The median matters. It, it changes things for you. For, yeah. At least for me. Um, so I'm not against musicals. I do I do have musicals but that I love. You have to be I, at a theater. You know, like not a movie theater. It has to be a play theater, like a like a well, Broadway. Well, yeah. I prefer I prefer the Broadway, but I have enjoyed musicals musicals and movies like um chicago i enjoyed i enjoyed the hell out of chicago yeah if it's presented the right way if it's yes. presented the right way yes you have to yeah you have to be easy with musicals <coughs> they're very they're, they're finicky beasts they just beasts. mix it up and just be like okay 45 percent is going to be a, a, a cinematic you know masterpiece and then 40 the other whatever percentage is going to be a musical like, yeah our brains are going in what it wants to see, right? Yes. And that's what you were saying, the medium, right? That medium, like, what are we really doing here? Like, because if you're, if, if you're telling me this, then I have to kind of get ready for that. 
right? Yeah. But if you're, you're selling me on something else and then I come in and I'm like, I wasn't, I wasn't ready for this. Mm -hmm. Like, I appreciate it, but I wasn't ready for this. Yeah. Oh, oh, you know what? Someone, okay, so uh, Coven says, Buffy the Vampire Slayer musical episode was the best thing ever to grace my screen. Uh, every episode of Buffy. Was oh, you got to have Coven on. Uh, and you said that, that's like, that's an invite central right there. That is your all topic. Buffy was the best. Um, Hell Queen Jazzy, Sweeney Todd, yes, yes. Sweeney that was Todd, that was a good one. The Demon Barber, that was a good one. That was a good one. Um, the, the musical arrangements in the movie was awful compared to how it was in the stage, but yeah. It, it's, it's, again, it's a different medium, so it's, it's, it's just different. Um, now, how did you feel about, um, okay, so there's one line that um, the fiance said <laughs> that I thought was funny. I wrote it down because, like, between him and Delia, like, they work so well together. It was so funny because they're in the car and it's after, you know, finding out about Charles. And he literally says, um, perhaps I should talk to her. I'm a non-feminine masculine archetype. And then Delia goes, there's no men left in the family. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was perfect. I think, I think that that generation of writers, the the Tim Burtons and the actors as well, that generation, they know what the time is, and yeah. they know how to make fun of the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I thought it was perfect. I thought Justin Theroux and uh, Catherine O'Hare, or yeah, Catherine O'Hare. She, I thought they were magic together i think that when they two were when both of them were on screen together yes. they were magic yes 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 like and, and, and all the terms and the morning shroud for the house like i just like how do you there's, there's nobody that like you can't love like i know that spoiler they killed her you know she died but i'm like if we did if we did a third Beetlejuice movie and it was more focused on delia i might be more inclined to be excited about it i'm not gonna lie <laughs> Well, I honestly, that was another thing that I had a problem with is, is like, and people want to judge me for saying this, right? I don't even, I think my wife feels the same way, Hope and Jazzy. I think that Dealey is not going to go, she's not going out bad for Charles. Like, that's not her character. Like, she ran in that household. Like, Charles was like a second. Now, this doesn't mean that she didn't love Charles, because obviously yeah. she did. She had a child yeah. with him, and she was married to him for years. But I, I hate I hated that Delia died because Delia like was and it was so great how she they portrayed her in the in the film as being like she was all over social media she was like crying in front of the camera for life yes. like, I wanted that to keep going like I wanted her to keep making money off of her grief like I just wanted that to keep going so I hate that they killed off Delia I really am that was that was so unnecessary I was so unnecessary um I do think that that's that is Tim Burton's way of saying we're not doing a third. Like, because he's already said, like, multiple times, he's like, I'm this, you're lucky that I'm doing this one. Yeah. Uh, so I think him killing off Delia might be like, just, just like a, we can't do a third. Because you can't, obviously, you can't have a Beetlejuice 3 without fucking Delia. Right? No, you so, cannot. Like, you can, I'm <laughs> loving on a writer, but just a Lydia and Michael Keaton, I need, I need Delia. Yeah. You gotta have Delia. There. 100%. Hundred percent. Um. Oh, oh, the second movie mentions Lydia's mom, mother's alive. So I'm like, hmm, does she have a goth mom? That's right, because Delia was, was her stepmom. Oh, I forgot she that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. See, that's that, the see, point. Jazzy, she be coming in whenever like. Good I point, mean, Queen. That was that was that was a good point. So, I, okay, let me ask you, Lisa. I know you have a list of questions, but would you want to be Beetlejuice three? No, but but if they make it, I'm gonna watch it. Obviously, we're gonna watch it. We're content <laughs> creators, <laughs> and even from like a non-content creator standpoint, I would still watch it. Yeah, it's, good, it's, it's, it's a good time. Like it's just a great right. Time. Like that's like okay. So that's like um I I made, I made this point in um because I also um teach online screenwriting class right. I yes. made this point in the class where it was like they could have stopped at Toy Story 3. They could have stopped. It was perfect. They, they, they ended it perfectly. That. Perfectly. But then they did Toy Story 4, which wasn't bad. But you didn't need to do it. And why are they going to... And now they're going to Toy Story... 
Toy Story 5, they're going to do that. They don't need to do it, but you know why they're going to do it? Because I'm going to watch it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and then, nope. Like, I, you I know, talk, like, oh, we love that doing nostalgia bug. Y'all do this, but they keep doing it. I'm going to keep watching the dog nab, but I'm part of the problem. <laughs> and, and, and we just, we love that nostalgia feeling. You know, same thing with Monsters, Monsters University. Like, uh, man, I did like Monsters University. I liked it. It was good. I did it as well. But I did it as was well. like, come on. Like, we didn't really need that. We had, like, the greatest movie ever, you know what I'm saying? So that is, if we talk about that a lot in the in our community. It's just like, what sequels are granted and which ones are just like, nah. Yeah. Listen, I'm, I'm old enough to remember when all Disney sequels were trash, okay? They were straight to video, DVDs, video okay? Yeah. V- VHS, excuse me, yes. I'm old enough for, I'm old enough for that, okay? <laughs> So the fact that they have now come to the realization that, oh, we should probably make good sequels, I'm like, oh, okay. Now, I'm not saying all of them, but, like, a lot of them, you were like, lying. We, Can you uh, actually? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so are you, I see some of the comments going crazy. Are, would you, are you interested in Shrek 5? Yes. I am. Me too, guys. Strict five. My like, God, no, dude. No. Did, did, did you did you see Puss in Boots Last uh, Wish? Yes. At the I end, when they're like, come on. Oh wait, 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 hold on. Go, hold on. Go see some old hold friends. Hold on. We got to go see some old friends. Wait, wait, wait. Far, far away. What? Sailing on up. Like, come on. All right. I'm ready. When did y'all get so good? Like, like the first. La- the first Puss in Boots was, was like a cute little movie. Yeah. So I, I came in the sequel going, all right, what's we got? And then I was blown away. I was like, excuse me? Like, I'm telling you. Excuse me. This is Puss- I, was, I was shocked. And then we get the we get the little dog from Puss yeah. in Boots with the gang. Like, that's going to be great. Like, that's going to get kitty soft balls. Like, come on. Dude, it was so funny. Like, I, I was so, I, I did not expect that movie to be that good good so yeah. at the end we were like was, we're going to get some friends i was like bring it on bring it that on. movie was legit scary like the fact like the oh premise my, itself that, like that was, yes death, oh that push, like but oh antonio banderas I, 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 oh my god oh my listen, god like listen listen i was like i i should not be this scared for a cartoon wolf what is happening it was insane it was insane. Oh my gosh, he was so scared. He said he threw the his sword at him, pick it up. And it was so scared. Get out of there, Puss! Get out of there! It was insane, guys. Oh, oh my god. This this stream has gone off the rails, guys. The comments, I'm telling you, it's the comments. They get us off track. They, but we love the comments. Okay. Okay, that's right. That's right. I'm. I'm. I'm oh, I love you. Oh man, you guys are killing it. I wish I. Could, I wish that was a way to save all these comments and look at them I later. I know, right? Instagram do better. Come on. Yeah, come on, Instagram. Like, let's go. So, all right. Uh, what I wanted to say was, what was I looking at? Um, okay. So, were you disappointed that they didn't have more of a reference for the Maitlands? Um. Well, yes, yes, and no. I, I mm. do, I do, I am grateful that they respected it, right? And they were mm-hmm. like, okay, Charles is one, one thing. We can make fun of that situation. Yeah. But, and again, not, we don't get political on live streams, do your own research on Alec Baldwin, but there's a whole thing that he's going through with what in his life. So, and I feel like that one's just a little, I'm not saying either one is, but like someone lost their life in that one, right? So I feel mm-hmm. like that was a tough situation in itself. Yeah. And then with Gina Davis, I really don't really, because obviously the storyline didn't need them in it. Yeah. But I just feel like maybe they were a package deal. Because I'm not really sure if Gina Davis turned down or was even offered anything. But like, I, I, don't I would she, like to have seen them. I don't think she was offered. And so here's the thing. Because ghosts technically don't age, they would have had to have done some kind of CGI. Yeah. Um, and I feel like a big draw of Beetlejuice is that a lot of their stuff is practical effects mm, and, or makeup. And I and I res- 
respect it so much. That's, that's um, a great point. So, and for me, I didn't need to see them, but I would have loved to have had a moment, a moment where like Lydia was like in the attic, just sitting there and thinking like, I miss you guys, I wish you guys were still here or something like, you know, cause every, you know, everything's turned upside down moment. for her. A moment, yeah. more of a moment than a, all they got was a throwaway line. I wanted more of a moment, yeah. you know? They, they deserve at least, yeah. at least a moment. And I, I yeah. think it was, again, I think be, you, you are a thousand percent correct on the practical effects. But because we didn't get that moment, just feel like this film could have been a little bit better. Just yeah. a little bit better. Yeah. And, and another um, movie account, just another movie night uh, podcast I listened to, and they're, 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 they're freaking hilarious. Um, they were talking about the Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice breakdown, and they had mentioned um, that, like, Lydia looked to the Maitlands as, like, they were like her surrogate parents, yeah. you know, in the first one. So there, I feel like there should have been some more emotional tethering than, than just, like, a throwaway line of, like, oh, yeah, we helped them. They're gone now. Like, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. I think also, I just don't feel like they, do you think they did Lydia's character justice? No. Like, let's be honest. No. no. Like, let's be honest. No, Lydia no, no. having her own talk show, that's not what Lydia's doing. That is not Lydia. Like, she's that's probably not. working in a morgue somewhere or at a graveyard or like yeah. something like that. Like, she's not on TV. That's, that's just but, not okay. Lydia. So I could see. I could see her fiance, uh, sorry, boyfriend, whatever. I could see him definitely exploiting her, right? But I, I see him only being able to convince her on a smaller scale to use wow. her gifts. I don't see him convincing her to do a whole entire show about it. I feel like it'd be more, more like um, p people pay to come see her, right? And she does the, the ghost thing or she goes to their houses, but it's not like recorded and on a show like that part i was like well i didn't really seem like lydia and maybe maybe if we got more of that brokenness from you know aspect you can understand because people again people in grief um are manipulated to do all kind of things right they, you know, they're, they're, they're easy targets unfortunately so it's not unbelievable it's just i i feel like there wasn't enough of a buildup of the grief part you know yeah I agree a thousand percent. Uh, Cody liked Lion King two more than the first one. Ah, oh, Cody, I thought we were gonna be friends. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Inside Out, Inside Out two was better than the original as well, and I love the first film. Hmm, I've seen it twice, but I say it's better. Mm. Uh, Inside Out two. It's a really good fucking movie. Oh, but the sure. original, I feel like it's better. Yeah, I, I don't think I would say it's better, and, and it and it tackles Riley in a whole new way. So it's I I like it. Yeah, I, for sure, I like it. I don't know if I call it better than the first one, but it's a good it's a good second place. Good good yeah, good, good sequel. Um, let's talk about um uh, the the boy. What's his name? Jeremy, the boy that Astrid oh. met. All right, all right. So when she first met him in the tree, I was like, uh oh, bro. Romance. Then, when he brought her in his house the first time, and we, and we walked past his mother and his dad, I'm like, oh, this, oh, oh, he did, oh, he did. Yeah, that, he did. So that was a giveaway for me too. It was so obvious. They're like they're not acknowledging her. We we're not seeing their faces. Dead Jim. And then when you go look in his room and you see the, and you're like, oh, this is the nineties. I, I was in the eighties. Yeah, this, yeah. You know, uh huh. I see what you're doing here. Yeah. You dead. You dead, Jim. Yeah. So that was not like a surprise, you know, for me. I feel like um, it was. I feel like the the boyfriend again. Was, was it necessary? Yes and no. Like I feel like it was necessary for Astrid for sure, right? But the mm -hmm. way I did like the 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 reveal of the parents. That was the most interesting part about the kid, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, the way, like, I didn't see him killing his parents. I knew his parents were dead. Like, I thought maybe there was, like, a, a house fire or True. something like yeah. that. But then him killing the parents, I thought, was a really good twist. But and his performance at the end, again, this final act, 
it was just this is what happens when you have six different storylines and they all have to conclude at the very end. It just yep. gets really messy. Yeah. It gets really messy. And yes. the whole scene where he was turning in Astrid's, you know, soul or whatever and that, that body switch, I felt like it was kind of confusing when you're watching it. Uh, and then the dad scene, the dad coming in to help, like he came in really slow to help. Like you just seen Astrid and she's about to go on the soul train and she's in the other room, but like you're taking forever to get there. Like it was just a lot. It was a lot. <laughs> oh, you know what? Thank you for bringing that up. Let's talk about the dad. Okay. So with the first Beetlejuice, okay, again, watched it when I was a kid a bunch of times. So there are a lot of things that went over my head at the time when I you know watched as a kid that later on I'm like, oh. So one of the scenes from Beetlejuice One was when they first get to the underworld. And the lady at the front desk was like, I'll tell you one thing. If I knew then what I knew now, I would not have had a little accident. And she showed her wrist. And as a kid, I was like, what does she mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, okay, what does she mean? I don't know what she means. It took me forever. So then you got, then, then, then there was the whole thing where it's like anybody who self-deletes, right? Um, they end up having to work for the government underworld. <laughs> oh, I didn't catch that reference. Yeah. Cause oh, even because even the guy Bob who was out here self deleting, dude. What what the fuck, Bob? <laughs> well that's well that, that's what confused me. Cause I was like, because saying it was an accident. Yeah. Saying it was an accident. Um and obviously he got little 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 fishies, little piranhas, he drowned. But now I'm like, was it on purpose? Ooh. Because you know right, what I mean? because from what they said, the dad, like, what, fell out of a tree or something? A uh, boat, I thought, or? Oh, yeah, the boat. It was the boat and then the piranhas. That's why he had all the piranhas on him. Yeah. So. Are you trying to tell him that he didn't like, fall out? That he, that he jumped? But why would he do that? He was trying to say, was he like an environmentalist? Uh, Yeah, something like that. Like yeah, like yeah. he wanted to save the yeah. like the Amazon or something. He yeah. Was to save the Amazon. yeah, something like that. So that that part, I'm like, or I'm like, well, technically he works in immigration. Is that is that different? <laughs> you know, is that's that what I'm saying. Like, what, what are we? So what did William Defoe do? Right, like he's working for the government. Right, he's the he's the cop. He's the the sheriff. So like, did he self delete? Like that was a a, a plot hole right there. You just see, right. look, you you, like, you screenwriters got you <laughs> no plot holes. <laughs> You can't get nothing by you screenwriters. I like it. <laughs> I appreciate it. I, I listen, like, I don't know. Hey, no. and, and it. Don't hey, your film because... better be ready before you come to Lisa. <laughs> oh, my God. His, his, I don't know, like his, you know, his, uh, the, the cop, mm -hmm. he, he had an accident doing his own stunts. He was not trying to right, self-delete, so I don't know how to happen. But yeah, so it's it, it it's just certain things. That I'm just like, okay, you make these, you establish these rules, and then you kind of like break them. And if you're going to break them, that's fine. But maybe give us the explanation why, why they're able to get broken. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, that's what we used to think, or that's what we used to do. But like, just to retcon it without like, that's basically like telling us like our memory ain't shit. Like you guys don't remember shit. Like no, 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 no. <laughs> Lisa remembers that you she she slid her wrist. She said what she said. Like, you yeah, know, so Yeah. And uh let me see. Wedding song it's interesting. Okay, so <laughs> the uh what was your favorite? Oh, you know what? I'm I'm gonna so we are I don't think we're maybe we're at an hour or near it. So we're gonna have to end soon on only because like Instagram will end it for me. Like they don't let me go farther than like I think Bro, I think I've gone an hour and ten minutes, and then like oh no, they'll end the live for me. That a warning. Like I, give me a pop up or something. Right, right. Whatever. Whatever. So. But this is part one. I'm going to be back here. Okay, we're going to. You got. You're coming to the hell zone. We're just. Oh. We have to now bring you over here to the hell zone and have you on a live stream because it's going to be insane. Like. Oh my I god. Your I'm energy. Okay. You and we're going to have you on a panel. Look, I'm already thinking. I'm already thinking like great things. But yes, this is just part one. Stay tuned for part two. For I'm coming back here, and then Lisa will be joining me on the hell zone. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm I'm very excited. I'm 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 in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm I'm all the way in. Uh, yeah. So, who was your favorite dead character? Like your favorite death that you saw? Okay. Oh man. <laughs> um, I'm such a fan of Danny DeVito. Like um, I thought Danny. I like for him to start the movie off. Did not see it coming. Like I heard, like he might be in the movie. But, like, to see him just in the afterlife and, like, him being a janitor and just, like, having the headphones on, like, it was just, he was such a vibe. Like, he was, like, yes. he was a way to kick off the movie for sure. And and he's a server because, spoiler alert, he drank Drano. And that's how he got hey. it. Was. So he, he was the only one that made sense. He was, the, his death is the only one that made sense. Everyone else should not be working there. <laughs> Like, dude, you were out there saving a rainforest. How are you to be in heaven right now, brother? Like, what's going on? I have no idea. Um, so, so actually, my favorite character was the woman who was um eaten by her cats. Oh, basically. Oh, okay. That I, was that was insane. And they were still on her. I was that was so insane. Like, that was that was kind of disturbing a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Between, between her and the piranhas, I was like, the practical effects are insane in this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It was um, yeah. So, so that, yeah, that was my, fa that was my favorite one. I did, um, didn't like Beetlejuice, though, because, like, whenever he hit, like, his, like, whenever he hit that, wherever you go, where, like, oh, when you start singing, I was just do. like, dude. I will be. Oh, man. I was, I was, I was feeling that scene. I'm not going to lie. I was feeling I was, it. I was like, I was so, that's yeah. Beetlejuice. That's Be yes. Beetlejuice. That yes. is Beetlejuice right there. Yes. That's exactly right. Yes. 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 So, um, I, I think it toned down. I think they toned down his loot, uh, lewdness a little bit. Cause I remember the first one where, like, he was, like, talking to the dude and he was trying to fill up Gina's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it, I, but I don't know why they did that. Cause, like, again, that was Beetlejuice. Like, me, me and my wife, we quote it all the time. But whenever he, uh, whenever he knocks over the tree, and he says, "Nice fucking model," and he grabs his his crotch, and then you hear the the clown noise. Like, he was yeah. more mm -hmm. move, he was more movable in the first one, and it felt like in the second one he was just mostly dialogue. Now, did you know that that was ad lib? The tree wasn't, wasn't the, the, the tree yeah. model scene. That's the, the tree, yes, the tree. The tree wasn't supposed to fall. It wasn't supposed to fall. It fell. So in the moment, he said, "No, it's not a model." Like ad lib. Yeah, yeah. That is great. I love yes. Michael Keaton. For that. I did like the scene. Yes, Jazzy just said it. Uh, uh, like the pic of Lydia on his desk. But I did like the scene where Lydia. It was Lydia, Beetlejuice, and was it Delia that was in the in Beetlejuice's office and he was dressed up as a teacher? Oh, wait, you, oh, you mean the therapist? The therapist, yes, I did yes, enjoy oh, that scene. That, that scene was very much Beetlejuice. Hilarious. Yes. That, like, like, don't get me wrong, like, there are a bunch of parts that I love about the spill. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that was hilarious. It spills guts, and they have, and they have baby Beetlejuice that came back twice. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> they, they say it in my eyes, but I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And whatever, whatever, like the the other sexual endo, or he said had a sexual endo. He said, um, he said, uh, so, oh, he said the, the guy said, your uh, William Defoe said to Beetlejuice, uh, your wife must be a real soul sucker. He's like, you're telling me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like. It was just, it was just so Beetlejuice like. All right, okay. Can I? And maybe, maybe, maybe I'm thinking of Beetlejuice one. Maybe I'm, you know, I'm just like the 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 twelve year old in, immature person inside of me. I kept waiting for a more sexual joke beneath the soul sucker thing. I'm like, no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah, no it was okay. like it's right his, there. Okay. His face sold it. Like we knew. But it's like, and his face sold it, but like, they just ended it right there. And yeah. I think it's because, like you said, we're from an older generation to where it's like, we could, we could take that humor, right? Yeah. Just like the, the slip yeah. in the wrist where it's like this new generation, 
it's a it's a somewhat of a kids movie, so they can't put that in. I thought they should have put. They should have kept going with it, dude. Oh, oh my gosh! Right, oh my gosh. I love when Delia said, "I know people." <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> you remember when Beetlejuice? Remember when Beetlejuice and Delia was in the the afterlife, and uh, he, and Delia came to Beetlejuice and was like, "Can you help me?" And he was like, "Look, I know you need a friend right now, but I'm not the one. Like, I'm." <laughs> I'm not your friend. It's like, dude, come on. Like, again, this is hot take Tuesday. So even though we did find problems with the film, it's still a good film. It's a really good yeah. film. It's just not. It's, still fun. it's just not as great as a sequel as a lot of people make it out to be. Yes, yes, yes. It's it's one of those things where like there's so many things going at you the first time, so it's able to you're able to enjoy it. But the second time, you're like, wait, let me think about what you're throwing at me real quick, and then it kind of like um. Okay, that ending. Oof. I did oh. not like the ending. I did not like the ending. Not at all. Uh, you go first. I want to bounce off you this time. What, what was your thoughts when you first seen it? Or after, at, no, your second time watching it? Because, again, like you said, our first time watching yeah. it, we were kind of hyped. Yeah. yeah. So your second time watching what did you think? So my second time was like, okay, are you trying, you're, you're alluding to, okay, Beetlejuice is still going to be in the shadows, like touching base with her now and then. Fine. What part of that was the dream? Mm -hmm. Was all of it the dream? Right. Did, did you not, did you not leave your TV show? Um, did your daughter not meet a boy and get married? I mean, obviously the, the birth scene is, is the dream, but like what, at what point, what, what is real? Because I liked, I actually liked the idea of, um showing that she is in her daughter's life mm -hmm. and they're doing it she's there yeah. i like that because I'm like, okay cool she's 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 um you know making up for it but then you kind of ripped it away when you when you made it like her wake up um well, well, well two fake outs technically yeah. um because she woke up and there was beetlejuice and she woke up again so i'm like okay okay what it was you're right like it was it kind of reminded me of, I want to put this right away because I don't want my hell years to come for me. Uh, <laughs> I remember watching Edward Scissorhands and it kind of reminisced of that the way I thought it should have been that way, right? Because it kind of looked like Tim Burton was wanting to, I, I didn't feel like the, the, the whole showing Astrid grow up and go throughout life was necessary. I didn't feel like no. that was necessary. I felt like no. it should have ended like the, how Edward Scissorhands ended where, uh, you know, I forgot the character of Winona Ryder in there, but she gets older and Edward is at the top doing the ice stuff, making it snow. And so I thought it should have been something like that to where like, it didn't need to go in the future. It could have just ended like, you know, Astrid go, getting taken to school and Lydia dropping her off or something, and, him, and her maybe seeing Beetlejuice at the school yeah. or something like that. Something yeah. simple. Not something yeah. that was just so, uh, just going everywhere and multiple fake outs. And like you said, even the beginning of the film, I keep forgetting. Remember, what L Lydia was telling us this is a story that you're about to see, and then it goes into the movie, right? So it's like, what's real what's not yeah. real is this a movie yeah. is this on the tv screen is this in her head like what are we doing here yeah so it was just it was all over the place and again i feel like there's just tim burton did really good on giving us a solid sequel but after being here tonight it's like you showed me like, and it's crazy because you're a screenwriter, right? Like only a screenwriter can show you the plot holes, right? Which is insane to me. That's why I cannot wait to have you on the panel because it's like, we have a lot of diehard fans and all I got to do is be like, Lisa, watch this movie, come on and just tell me all the plot holes and then we're just going to have all the conversation and everyone's be like, yo, Lisa's right, but Lisa, too, this is my favorite movie. So, but again, th this is, you're, you're a lover of cinema storytelling that's what you said earlier you love storytelling so if there's a plot hole you're going to find it and beetlejuice 2 is definitely filled with plot holes yeah yeah well i want to thank you for coming on i'm so sorry i was late the technology dude i was like clicking join and then it wasn't going on like, okay at this oh i told my wife give me your phone let me try your phone and now i'm on her phone right now so 
Now I know I gotta get, I gotta fix my phone. Again. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's live. Live be live in. Yeah, live but be thank live. You for on but yes, I thank I you so it. much. It was an honor to come on here. Thank um, I'm you. just so grateful that again this community is just so giving. I remember when you had DM me uh, when we set the live up. I was just like, dude, because I had I hadn't done a live stream besides with my core team, right? I haven't done a live stream with anybody in so long. And Ooh. I was like, we got a new person in the family, yes! And then just watch your content. Your content's just like, first off, your guys' page is underrated. It's criminally underrated. And we're definitely going to fix that and have you guys awesome. come on the page, do some reviews. We're going to share some more of your stuff. You thank guys you. are now part of the health fam for sure. Uh, so thank you so much. And I cannot wait to have you on the stream. Uh, Perfect. And Joanna, you got to come on here. And talk some pretty, uh, not pretty little liars, but uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. She yes. will, if you need someone to talk Buffy with, Coven, she will, she'll talk you on the table. Like, it is insane. Like, what we do on I, 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 I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. Um, so also, I want to say real quick um, that, funny enough, my I have a series that I wrote and filmed, um, co-wrote and filmed, uh, The Zombie Chronicles. Okay. It's on Tubi right now. It's on Tubi right now. It's really yeah. It's not, but it's not horror, guys. That's fine. I, that's and fine. I, I, I took zombies and I made them people, kind of. We love so, that. I, I love watching I Zombie. I like watching, like, different things. Okay. We'll, 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 this is what we'll do, right? <laughs> we're going to set it up, right, <laughs> with your permission, yeah. to where we're going to have you over in the hell zone. Okay. We're going to watch it live together with you. <laughs> Okay. We're, we're gonna have you on a live. Very, and then we'll watch your, I, I, we'll watch I had a wonderful crew and cast. Very low budget. Bring them on. But oh, bring, bring on whoever. Okay. We would love to have you on it's, and watch so, you live. And perfect. Do a live, it's, we'll it's do a, a live movie review with you. Eight episodes, so it's great. Let's do it. Let's do it. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Perfect. Okay. All right, guys. And I'm gonna drop a question of the week tomorrow on the movie yes. lovers. And I'm gonna be answering on my live show on Sunday, on uh, which which I which I do on YouTube, but. The question is a horror question. Ooh. That's what I'm telling you guys. It's gonna it's gonna be in the stories on Real Movie Lovers tomorrow. We're gonna share. It. We're gonna make everyone vote. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Friday. 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 Not tomorrow. Friday. Friday. My bad. Friday. I, look, my Friday. week is just Friday. So, I have a look. <laughs> bear with me. Conventions, horror nights next week. It's insane for me. Ooh, this next week. Okay. But uh, I mean, I, yes, yes, we, will we, share that we are right. definitely doing this again on my show and your show. Yes. Like I love this conversation. I enjoyed the back and forth. Thank you guys for checking out the the, the, the conversation, being a part. If any of you want to come on and and you know hit me in the DMs and let's get you on. I, I I try to do this every Wednesday. Let's do it. So we will be. I will be in the comments next Wednesday <laughs> with the help. All, All right. If you guys right. ever want me on again, I'm a DM away. All right. Yes. All right. We'll talk later, and I will be looking out for the hell zone.